Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is for you, people of Tableau, people of the internet. This is the 30-Day Tableau Challenge, and I am Albert Bellamy, a.k.a. Major Data. And I wanted to present here today, it's Thanksgiving Day here in the United States, not as I'm recording this, but when it gets published. So I'm going to record this a day early. I'm going to give everybody an update what I'm doing in week four, making up a little bit for lost time, but really um, I'm catching up on some things. I am trimming up, finishing up some courses. And uh, yeah, just wanted to, before I get into Thanksgiving tomorrow and then big, big Ohio State game on Saturday, uh, you know, things are going to get lost in the mix. So wanted to give a quick update and talk about the things that I'm working on. And um, yeah, and just uh, before we get into, I think Friday, I'll probably do another video, wrap up some of these things, show you what they look like on the back end. But I had a lot of kind of hanging chads, uh, you know, unended storylines from earlier in the month that now I'm trying to trim up. So I wanted to give everybody uh, just, just what I'm doing and, and see what everybody else is doing. So let me add this other screen here. All right, we're gonna keep it a little bit small just because um, I'm gonna be talking through quite a few things and it's not gonna be much of a demonstration per se. I just wanna show you where I am and see where everybody else is. So first thing I'm doing, I never did finish the Maven Analytics course. This is the Udemy version. Um, and so I kind of went back and trimmed some things back up. I am going back through the data connections and uh, joins, talking about the physical layer, the logical layer, uh, joins, relationships, unions, all of the different variations there, how you can put those things together. That was a big point of emphasis on the, um, the Tableau data desktop, or sorry, the Tableau desktop certification test. A lot of questions about those layers about joins, about data relationships, about how to how to kind of blend them together in different ways. So that is definitely something worth reviewing and, and really going over. There were a lot of things, even from a month later, that uh, listening to Dustin Cabral talk about them was like, yes, there was a question on that. There was a question on that. So I highly recommend you go back through this uh, Maven course or Udemy course, wherever you've got it. Go through this Dustin Cabral Tableau Certification Desktop Specialist and Data Analyst. I expect to get more use out of this one somewhere down the road. We're going to do a challenge on the Data Analyst test. We're going to step up the, the challenge level. Um, and so this is tremendously useful, and I know this is a point of stress. So I'm trying to finish that section up today. I really want to finish this course and have this be kind of my final rubber stamp next week as we lean into actually taking the test. Um, and I think I've said this before, that course to me is the best one-stop shop for passing this test. So uh, make sure you focus on that. If you if you don't have access to Maven anymore, their, their free week is in the past um, and you didn't get a paid subscription to them, highly recommend you get on Udemy, drop the 13, 15 bucks, whatever it is for the discount price they're going to have a Black Friday sale. So this Friday, uh, look out for that sale price. Everything on Udemy, I'm pretty sure, is going to be at the sale price. You can get this Maven course on there for the cheapo price, you know, to 10, 10 to 15 bucks max. All right. Highly worth it. Um, you know, for something that essentially is going to guarantee that you pass the test, 15 bucks when the test certificate, test fee itself is 100, definitely worth it. All right. So working on that, moving on here's my tableau public um we've got some some new things on here we've got some old things that i'm working on so i went back and i started looking at the alex the analyst videos um so alex has an entire a five video set of tableau tutorials for beginners and i've been going through this um okay so now i'm on the beginner project Quiet, alex. um so I went back through the, I wasn't sure if I'd done the third video. The third video on Alex is uh, visualization. So let me see if I can find that real quick. Um, maybe if I back up just one, that's joins. All right, there's visualizations. Yeah, add, got it. Um, 
so visualizations um let me show you the the actual project it turns out i had done it and i did a few variations so let's take a look at that here it is all right ata dashboard number three visits now if you go on my tableau public which i highly recommend because you know i want i want more validation of the things i'm doing you can see it's right here ata dashboard number three visits it, it's a hodgepodge um, I didn't make the dashboard thinking this is going to be a, <coughs> excuse me, a cohesive thing. If you look at the dashboard, it doesn't make any sense. There's three vises of, let me go back to the vis. There's three vises. <coughs> hmm, might have to edit this one. Three vises of video game sales. Slight variation on what Alex did. So there's a, a simple bar graph here. There's a pie chart. He goes over how to build that. Um, there's a stacked bar graph. And then he puts in a filter. Um, and then what he demonstrates is, so you've got all these different game platforms, even going back to like old school stuff, like my generation, you know, 2600 and <coughs> love the TurboGrafx-16. I always wanted one of those. They, they had the coolest games when it first came out. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, but all of these games, and then what he does is he filters it down to like PlayStation only. So PlayStation 2, 3, and I think that was it. Um, just to make it a little more more manageable to see the time frame, um, it's just an it's just an easier to grasp visualization if you if you focus it down on that. So maybe look at just the Xbox. Alex does PlayStation. Um, if you want to do Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, you know, you want to do the Nintendo Wii or something like that. Um, NES platforms. They had a you know that would probably peter out somewhere in the early two thousands. Anyway, I digress. Um, but those are for these three visualizations. Then he starts talking about mapping. And he goes into a map and he pulls an entirely different data set in there. And it's the Starbucks locations data set. Uh, and so you make this sheet for, and he plays with a couple of things, really doesn't end up with anything dramatic. You can see it's just cities that have a Starbucks. Um so, you know, I played with a little bit, some some sizes of the widgets. If you zoom out, you can get a kind of all 50, 52, I guess, because you've got the uh, 50 states plus D.C. And, and Puerto Rico. That You could probably do something entertaining with that zoomed out, um, but then zoomed back in and just focused on CONUS. You can play with, like, sizes of these things. Um, you can... You know, you can do some things with like dropping it on color. Doesn't really, doesn't really do much. Uh, anyway, so some interesting stuff, may, maybe mildly interesting at best. Um, and, and now you got sizes based on some some metrics. So there's some things you can play with with that. Really, it was just a kind of toe in the water video. Like here's what visualizations look like. Here's what you can do with them. And then he didn't bring it together in a dashboard. I just slapped the four the four main visualizations he worked on in that video into a dashboard, and I went ahead and published it. Um, you know, just good practice going end to end. You get a data set, you play with a data set, you get a couple of data sets. Um, like here, you look at data sources. So you've got um, video game sales, and then uh, you have this itineraries, which is... Um, which I guess is the the Starbucks one. And so, you know, it's it's stuff to do. Okay, let me close that out. No, I don't want to save those changes. All right, then moved on to, so we have visualizations. And then the next one is, um, let's back up one. Then he starts talking about joins. Um, hello, ad for Pillow Cube, whatever you are. Um, Okay, so he so he does a whole video on joins. This is another fairly quick one. It's about a 15 minute video. Not really a ton to do here. It's mostly him talking about joins. And like I said, this is a thing that really needs emphasis for that test. That is a ton of questions. And he doesn't go into a ton of detail. Highly recommend you go back to that Maven course to focus on that physical layer, logical layer, different kinds of data connections, um, how to bring data in, what happens when you double click this or, uh, or go to that. And so 
a lot of good work to be done there. At the end, he does make this visualization. He takes his um, his office HR, you know, the show The Office. There's an HR data set that he uses in his sequel videos. If you go back and you watch some of the over the shoulder videos that I did early on of his sequel videos, this is a data set that he has you enter into SQL uh, into a database and and use SQL queries on it. So super simple. It's you know, like tops, like 10, 15 rows of data. And so it's very easy to see how different queries will affect the data and get different results. Here, he takes the same thing, he brings it in. And then um, on the data source pane, here we're looking at the logical layer, not much here, we didn't, didn't join things together. But then when you look at the physical layer, he goes through different joins and um, you know, and how, how a left join, a right join, an inner join, full outer join are gonna affect the kind of data that you see and, and have available for visualization, um, how it works when he's got you join a couple of different uh, fields together or columns together. Um, it naturally goes to employee ID because it's got that in different data sets. Um, but then he shows how to join different fields that actually are the same like employee name, but have different names. So you here you've got name of employee here, you've got employee name. You've got to make that join happen and then you've got kind of a multi-join here so demographics and job title have an inner join demographics and salary have an inner join how you get multiple sources three different sources of data here uh to join together in the physical layer and then how that looks when you start actually going to to make visualizations with it okay not not too much done here i mean this gra this bar graph he tossed it together in the last minute of the video or so i did it published it just because you know, I'm going full transparency. So I'm putting everything on Tableau public. I urge you to do the same. It is far easier. And this is just a truism for having content published, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on LinkedIn, on your portfolio is much better to start out with volume and then go for quality afterwards. So quantity first, get your reps. And so the same thing for your Tableau public, get reps out there, get, get visas out there. Everything you work on, unless it's total garbage, unless it's just unsightly. I mean, this isn't unsightly. It's just a simple bar graph. So there's no reason not to publish this. And then in the, in the after, aftermath, that doesn't seem like the right word, but looking at it in hindsight, you can go back and say, I really want my Tableau public to only be my finest work. And then you can kind of call the, you know, trim, trim the trim the bushes, if you will, separate the wheat from the chaff. I don't know. I'm mixing metaphors now, but just it's much easier to generate volume, make all your mistakes in public and then say, OK, this one, these 10 visas are my finest work. Let's display those kind of hide everything else. Um, but but get the stuff out there. And that's one of the lessons that I want to teach. OK, so that one we're good on. Nope, changes are all good. Um, and then now what I'm on to is let's back out there. So Alex has two projects for Tableau. And that's really what I want to, if you've done all of these things, that's really what I, what I want to focus on. So here is the Tableau tutorials for beginners playlist. It's five videos, super simple. Now install Tableau, get some data, fields and bins. We did a video on that visualizations and joins. This is the video for that one. And then full beginner project. I've begun that. Kind of wanted to have it done today. I doubt it'll happen. I might finish this on Friday and publish that for Saturday. Um, so the full beginner project in Tableau, uh, what he does is this is Airbnb data. He does... So when he when he guides you to the data set here, to, here he is going through the data set. When he guides you to the data set um, it's on Kaggle. So if you want to use the exact same data that Alex used to get his visualization, which here's here's the visualization that he's got here. OK, so it's it's Amsterdam. Um, if you go to his Kaggle site where he refers you to get the data set, you're going to get the Amsterdam data set. If you go to, if you want to get the uh, most up-to-date, because this is 2016 data, if you want the most up-to-date data to get kind of a variation on what he's doing, 
you can go to the um, this site, like the um, inside Airbnb, where they publicize their data. And the first alphabetically, the first one on there is Amsterdam. Um, I started looking, I noticed like Asheville, North Carolina was on there. I was like, oh, that might be interesting. So I got that one. And then in honor of my beloved Ohio State Buckeyes who take the field of battle this Saturday to uh, to deal hopefully a mortal wound to the team up north, I figured I would, where is it? Not Chicago. It's off. I, I figured I would uh, do my viz based on Columbus, Ohio. So, um, so I'm going to work on that. Hopefully have that published here in a couple of days, record it Friday, publish it Saturday morning. And that is what I am working on. What else can I tell you? I think that might be about it. All right. Um, so I plan to, to finish this this week. And then once I'm done with that, let's go to just Alex's main page real quick. Um, data analyst portfolio project where his, where his, okay. Data analyst portfolio project. So this is another playlist of his, um, where he has another, where is it? Not the data cleaning. Okay, let me go back to the view full playlist. There we go. Okay, so data analyst portfolio project videos. He has another Tableau project right here. This one is, again, less than an hour to watch the video. Hey, what's up, Kevin Hart? Less than an hour to watch the video. Probably, you know, figure another 20 minutes to a half hour to do the project. Um, let's take a look at what it looks like. I've seen a lot of people doing this. It's um, it's covid numbers. So I see a ton of people doing some exact carbon copy of that. Folks, if you do this project, if you do any kind of guided project, put your own spin on it, like play with it a little bit, do something different. Because I see so many people on Tableau Public with this exact thing, with these exact colors. With the... Don't copy Alex. Alex is awesome. I love Alex. But uh, it, Alex would be the first one to tell you, don't copy me. Um, you know, to take what I teach you and and put your own variation on it. So that is what I would recommend for this week. I've got Alex sped up a little bit so I can watch the videos a bit faster. Uh, yeah, so go through this week, get some more grinding done, get some more start to finish. And I pause real quick was because I had to go fetch ultra learning. And this is what the, the point that I'll leave you with today. Ultra learning principle number three, it is chapter six in the book, and that is directness. OK, and I'm not even pointing to it, but there directness. Go straight ahead. What does this mean? Let me summarize this chapter for you. Practice doing something by doing that thing. As a runner and as a runner who has trained poorly for a large portion of his life, I can tell you that the only way you get better at running is by running. Now, you can lift and you can do legs and you can, you know, all of these things. And those are kind of good supplemental exercises. You can cross train that that'll make you better. The way to get better at running is by running. The way to get way to get better at running a marathon is by running marathons. So directness go end to end with the things that you are trying to do. If you're trying to get better at doing Tableau projects, do Tableau projects. Don't sit in a sandbox. Don't do endless reps of courses. Courses are to enable you to do Tableau, to make visualizations, to do projects. Let me close out that extra screen. So directness, it talks all about transfer, like, you know, transfer from exercises to production and how, you know, the exercise should be as close to the production, as close to the actual operations as possible. Okay. So I urge you, hey, read this book, highly recommend it do focus on the chapter on directness. There were so many eureka moments for me in this chapter. Um, and yeah, how ultra learners learn directly, how they avoid the problem of transfer, simulate as best you can the thing that you're about to do. So the point of the test is not necessarily to, to get the certification. The point of the certification is to get better at Tableau and be able to apply it in a professional setting. We are going to pass the test. We're going to pass the test by practicing tests, but we're going to get better at Tableau by making visualizations in Tableau. And then when you look back at the test and you're going to say, hey, this question makes sense to me. Why? Because I've done it a hundred times. All right. So 
still applying the principles in this book. I plan to do more content talking about this, but uh, everybody, I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. For those of you who do not celebrate Thanksgiving, I urge you to spend some time just showing gratitude because it's, I mean, that's just a good human thing to do, regardless of your, uh, you know, your national traditions, wh where you are in the world, whether you celebrate Thanksgiving or not. All major religions, I mean, we glorify gratitude and and giving thanks. Um, and so I, I urge you to do that. Now, anyone offended by my T-shirt? Hey, sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, everybody, my friends all across the world, my friends from different cultures, I hope you, you know, if you're not a Thanksgiving person, I hope you have a happy Thursday. And I hope you, uh, you enjoy working on Tableau. And with that, I think there's nothing left to say except that click once. Follow me, folks, and I'll make you a genuine Tableau hero just like me.